I am going to show you how to load the fill on the Super Duper Looper. Easiest way to do this, find an assistant, give your assistant a screwdriver, and have them hold this like this while you wind the film onto the platter. And they can take care of feeding the film to you. If you don't have an assistant, you can just rig something up to serve the function of an assistant. I have a little screwdriver here, clamp down in a little box, put it to the proper height, and this will work fine as well. Uh, first thing to do, the easiest way to do it is to tape this onto here. Then we need a little space in between the film and the center of the looper. And we supply these little vinyl caps that will give you a little bit of space. The nice thing about the vinyl caps is that you can stick a pen inside them to spin it around. And normally I wouldn't tape these over here, but normally I wouldn't be leaning this far over. Now we just wind. Only thing we have to be careful of is that the film doesn't ride up too high and it's not too tight. We want the film to be kind of loose against itself as we wind it. And every once in a while, you should stop and kind of push the film down, make sure it's not riding up too high. Although you could do this just at the end. With the film this short, it really doesn't make a difference. For a longer film, 400 foot film, 10 inch film, then more important. I'm going to go very fast over here. You don't have to go this fast. I don't really recommend going this fast. But I've done this many, many times. This is only about maybe 150 feet of film, so it's pretty fast you can count. Okay, we've got all the film on there. Let's get these things out. I'm going to take the film out from the center. Get this other one out. Now you'll probably have to push the film down a little bit. Get it nice and flat on there. And we can swing the guide bar over the film. Lock it into place there. And all we have to do now is load the film through the projectors, normal load. That'll be part two.